Hey everyone, KB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do an updated video on the latest way to unroot or unbrick your Samsung Epic 4G. This will put you on the latest gingerbread build, FC09. That would be the latest. So here we go. Um, first of all, obviously it's gonna wipe all your data, everything. So make sure you keep that in mind because everything will be wiped. Right now I'm on the people's ROM, which is MTD. It's kind of important to know whether on MTD or BML. I will get to that uh, a little later in the video. But anyways, so now what we're gonna need to do is obviously on our phone, all you can do is just power it on off to get ready. So we're just gonna need to power off our device. Once powered off, we can actually go to our PC because we're, we're going to need to get our PC ready. All right, so you're gonna need to click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to this brief mobile website. Um, as you can see, how to install FC09 for the Epic 4G. Uh, shout out to Corey Nicholson for getting this file for us, so shout out to him. Anyways, the first thing you're going to need to download is the TAR file itself right here, this D700 FC09 right here. So click on that file and download it. If you have not installed on your PC, you're going to need to make sure you download and install the Epic 4G drivers. So click on where it says Epic 4G drivers, click on it and download the appropriate drivers for your PC. If you need help with that, I can help you out, just ask. You're also gonna need to download and unzip the Odin 3 version 1.85, and you're also gonna need to download the Victory 8G PIT. So you've got uh, the, the TAR file, the drivers installed on your PC, you have the Odin file downloaded, and the PIT file downloaded. Once you have all of those downloaded, you're just about ready to go. Go to your desktop. What I'm gonna recommend is that you just make a folder on your desktop. So go ahead and hit new folder. You can call it something like Epic 4G Unroot or something. I mean, whatever you really wanna call it, um, that's fine. So I've got that on my desktop right there. Now go to your downloads folder where you've downloaded all of those files. And right now what you're gonna need to do is grab the tar file and the PIT file. Leave that Odin file alone for now and click and drag them into that Epic 4G on root folder. So it'll move it on there, but with Odin, uh, you're gonna need a, a zip program like WinZip, uh, WinRAR, 7-Zip, I have 7-Zip. Uh, double click on it and it'll open up uh, these three files right here. Just transfer over Odin 3 and Odin 3 V 1.85. Click and drag those into that folder as well. So you don't need the instructions in there. So once you have all of those files in there, the Odin file, the Odin 3 file, the uh, tar file, the FC09 tar file, and the PIT file in there, you're actually ready to go. So once you have all of those files in our Epic 4G on root folder, you've got your drivers installed, you're just about ready to go. Go ahead and right click on Odin 3 and hit run as administrator. And then go ahead and hit yes. And this should open up Odin, as you can see it did right here. This is Odin. So now what we're gonna need to do um, is go ahead and press the PIT button right here. Select the PIT button. And then navigate to that uh, that folder you just made on your desktop, that Epic, uh, Epic 4G on root folder. Double click on it and find that victory PIT file. Double click on that so you got the PIT file there. Now click on the PDA box right here, select that. And it should take you to that Epic 4G on root folder. If not, go to it and then select that FC09 tar file. Double click on that as well. And uh, once those two files are in Odin, you're just about ready to go. Um, now is a, a key part actually. So this is where you need to know if you are on MTD or not. If you are on MTD, you are gonna need to make sure repartition is checked. So make sure repartition is checked if you're on MTD. If you're on BML, don't have it checked. So um, it's it's actually very key that you know whether you're on MTD or BML. Uh, if you need help, you can you can ask. Uh, if you don't know, or just go to the ROM thread that you flashed. If you're just stock, if you're stock rooted, then you are on BML. So if you haven't flashed any ROMs, you're on BML. If you flashed a ROM, you could potentially be on MTD. CM9 is MTD. Um, pretty much all the latest ROMs are on MTD, so um, just be, be careful with that. Make sure you know whether you're on MTD or BML. Anyways, you're also going to need to have auto reboot check no matter what. So repartition is the only one that matters with MTD or BML. Make sure F reset time and flash lock are both unchecked. So I'm on MTD, so I'm going to need repartition checked right there. Um, but once we have the victory PIT file there, the FC09 tar file in the PDA slot, we're ready to go. 
So I'm gonna grab my Epic 4G, and what I'm gonna need to do is go into download mode. To do so, we're gonna need to press the one button on the keyboard and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of them, and it should take me into download mode, like so. So it's taking me into download mode. Now I can just go ahead and plug my uh, phone into my PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it on in. And once, uh, once I plug it in, we're actually, it should pop up on my PC. It might uh, download and install drivers, so be patient if it does that. Um, if you do run into any problems at all with Odin, generally the problem has to do with the cable. Make sure that you have a good cable. Samsung cables usually are pretty bad. I have the best success with BlackBerry cables. I've been using an HTC cable and it's been working great for me. So the cable is usually the culprit. You can also try different USB ports. You can try reinstalling drivers. Um, so if anything does go wrong, try it again and try all those different variables. Um, but you'll see a yellow box here in Odin that shows up. It should say COM and then a number. It'll be a yellow box. So make sure that uh, this box is showing up because that means that Odin recognizes your, your phone. And once there, you're ready to go. Just go ahead and hit start. So once you hit start on your phone, you should see a little progress bar actually that pops up a blue progress bar. You'll see a, uh, a green progress bar in Odin. So make sure that you don't unplug your phone during this process. Make sure nothing, no battery pops out, anything like that that could potentially brick your phone if you do do that. So you'll see this blue bar starting right here. You'll see the green bar starting on Odin. But I'm going to go ahead and let this run through. It does take a bit of time. It could take about three minutes, maybe maybe longer. It actually lets you know how long it took, so I'll show you guys once it's done. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit, let it do its thing, and I'll be back once it's close to being done. All right, as you can see, it's getting close to finishing. The uh, the final steps are finishing. My blue, my blue line is almost all the way done. You'll see it says reset. It should automatically reboot your phone. It should say pass. Mine took two minutes and 18 seconds. If yours is taking longer than 10 minutes, definitely something went wrong. You're gonna have to restart the process and try again. So as you can see, my phone is now rebooting. And once it boots back up, I should be back to stock, completely stock. FC09 on my Samsung Epic 4G. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it boot up and I will be back. All right, as you can see, it's getting close to finishing. The uh, the final steps are finishing. My blue, my blue line is almost all the way done. You'll see it says reset. It should automatically reboot your phone. It should say pass. Mine took two minutes and 18 seconds. If yours is taking longer than 10 minutes, definitely something went wrong. You're gonna have to restart the process and try again. So as you can see, my phone is now rebooting. And once it boots back up, I should be back to stock, completely stock. FC09 on my Samsung Epic 4G. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it boot up and I will be back.